Choices in Recovery houses residential clients for anywhere from 90 to 120 days. While they're here in our program, um, we are a 12-step based program, so they're attending outside 12-step meetings as well as doing the curriculum that we provide. So we offer everything from anger management, relapse prevention classes, life skills, um, all different kinds of classes that are going to equip them to transition seamlessly back into the community as productive members of society. The national average is about one in seven for people who suffer from addiction. And I don't think that there is a family that you can talk to who's somebody, either a cousin, an uncle, a brother, a sister, a mom, that has been touched by addiction. Like, it's just everywhere. They're living in our residential houses, which are just in neighborhoods across Vista, and they're able to learn how to live in a house, do chores, learn how to communicate uh, their feelings, um, learn how to manage their anger. All the tools that we give them, um, we're providing them in hopes that they can go back out into the community to be productive and find jobs, go back to school. With the fentanyl being out there now, it's like people die right away. It's, you can use one time and be dead. We've had people who come through our program and decide to leave and it doesn't take and they go out and they use one more time and it's the last time. So having a place where people can come and feel safe and talk about their, their, their problems without being judged, I think is, is really important. You need to be able to be on their level and see where they're coming from as well and know that they feel safe and they feel like they can come to people and talk to them about their problems. And addiction is messy. And having a place where people can be welcomed and not judged is extremely important. And we keep people off the streets and we keep people alive.